All right, guys. So in today's little adventure, we're really gonna have an adventure because we have no information about where we are. We're out at Tecumseh Lake out in the city of Shawnee. Mm -hmm. All right, city of Shawnee. Anyways, so we saw some articles earlier this year that they're putting in a trail around this lake out here, but I can never find any trail maps or any information on it. And yeah, we could be, you know, being lazy, we probably could just go down to the office. They probably have maps printed up down there at the... Uh... Wayne National Forest has an office in Shawnee, Ohio. Oh. But they are not open today. Oh. Okay, so basically we get here and I'll just show you. It's easier to show you. There's no signage. There's nothing there. But it does say, I'll get out of my butt out of the way. North Country Trail and Buckeye Trail. So this is a part of each, it says. So what we've decided to do here is we're going to just go hike around it and see what it is. She's got her pedometer on, so we'll get somewhat of a measurement, but at least we'll get an idea what's out here. We kind of have some things to do in the afternoon. We wanted to get out and get our miles so we can train, you know, some more for Shawnee. So, you know, that's Shawnee State Forest. We're training in sh the city of Shawnee for Shawnee Strait State Forest. <laughs> Two different places, so close to the same. But I'm seeing some clouds. They're not supposed to be clouds. Anyways, we're going to get on the trail. We'll bring you with us. You know, might be something that's close to you that you can just take and go for a quick morning hike. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. Alright, so on our way here, we stopped at another kind of trailhead looking thing and read some uh, information. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of history out here, especially for like the union labor movement out here in Shawnee. Coal miners were vicious back in the day out here. So bad so that a couple of them didn't, weren't real happy about the scabs and they went on strike and the scabs went into the mines. And basically they lit some coal cars and pushed them down in the mines. The coal miners, the original coal miners did. And that set this place ablaze underground. Reading the placard about it. They're talking about people paying 25 cents to come out and watch the guides cook eggs over holes in the ground. Schools were evacuated because the gas was leaking up in them. Basically underground, the coal burnt 36 acres of coal underground. So there's a lot of history and ties to like the labor movement and stuff around here. A lot of history. A lot of things that you could really learn spending some time in this area. Things that we, you know, I had no clue that this place burned at one point underground. But uh, if you get the opportunity, you should look into some of these things. It stunned us when we read all the stuff about it at that trailhead.
don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera, but there and there, and there and there, small deer, hoof prints, baby, little tiny baby, a real Bambi. All right, guys. So when you go on the lake, it's deceptive because over there, there's a bench, and you think that it goes up the hill, but it doesn't. All right, it comes down this way across the creek and out that way and you can follow the blue blazes for the Buckeye Trail out this path which is done with well first it looked like first it looked like pavement shavings but now that I'm looking at it that's coal or some kind of shale coal mix. Crazy. Anyways, so this is the way you go out. Because it's real easy to get turned around because they're kind of under construction. You'll see the equipment up here. Ooh, nice. Of course I didn't wear my waterproof shoes today. Oh. Thank you. Yep. You can see the equipment up there. They're out here building trails. And just so you know, they are looking for volunteers. If anybody wants to volunteer. Just so you know, they, they are asking for volunteers to come out on the weekends and help work on the trail to get it cut. The trail before wasn't very clear, so they're trying to make it better. Um, it said on the website that no experience necessary, they'll show you how to do it, and they'll provide all the tools that you need for it. So, even if you only got an hour or two, I'm sure they appreciate any help they can get. Kind of just doing whoops and switchbacks up and down and stuff. Kind of almost reminds you of Wildcat, honestly. Other than the fact that there's coal everywhere. Like everywhere there's coal. Anyways. It's a nice little workout trail though, I'll tell you that. Elevation up, elevation down. Actually has been blazed pretty good with that light blue. I don't think I've gone more than about 20 foot without seeing a blaze. And they're older blazes, they didn't just recently do it. It's a pretty nice trail though. Can't complain. What do you think? I like it. I think it does good. Alright. Let's get the camera turned around.
Okay, so we came out on Salem Hollow Road and with the mileage, we believe this is where the trail ends and then you turn around and go back to Tecumseh Lake. But if you go this way, just across the road from where we came out, and I guess I turned the wrong way. Um, so if you go that away, then the Buckeye Trail and the North Country Trail continues on that away. And I believe that goes towards the New, Stra New Straitsville stretch. So we're going to get turned around here, start heading back that away, and we'll get you some more pictures on the way back. <laughs> I busted my butt. Yeah, I'm fine. At least it wasn't on ice. So I got a question. Since I busted my butt, does that mean I'm grounded from Shawnee? So we found a nice log that fell across the trail that kind of made a good seat. So we're going to stop and just kind of enjoy the peace and quiet for a minute. Eat some chocolate and nut trail mix. Any of you don't know, if you've got a Dollar Tree store near you, they have the best trail mix and the best like snacks for cheap. Super mm -hmm. cheap. Those bags are a dollar a piece. I don't know what the ounce is on them, but... Six ounces. Six ounce bag of the chocolate and nut mix. Actually, it's got fruit in it too. It's got peanuts, banana chips, sweet, chocolate chips, raisins, dried pineapple, um, chocolate flavored candies, and chocolate flavored chips. So that's a pretty good mix for a dollar. But uh, we're going to sit here and drink some water too. We haven't been drinking enough water today, let alone yesterday. So let us enjoy this for a minute and we'll get back with you.
Come on, this is heavy. Come help me. What do you want? Come help me. This is heavy. I ain't helping. I can't hold this up forever. You got it. Oh, come on, really? I'm proud of you. All right, fine. <laughs> Okay, so we just found this. Don't know what the deal is. Maybe the other side of the trail they're still building. But, like we said, we didn't come down here with no maps or nothing. We were just down here figuring it out. They don't have this side blazed yet, so... You know, we'll have to come down later on and find out what the deal is. But that trail goes somewhere. Okay, so we got the truck doors open trying to block out the wind here so you can hear us. That's a pretty interesting trail, kind of a wander around aimlessly and meander around trying to figure out where we are. Not really having any information. First I was kind of like, eh. Now I actually had fun doing it. It's kind of like exploring when you're a kid. Plus it's, it's nice not to, we don't always have to crush miles. I mean, that's just... We generally do that a lot, and sometimes I feel like we go a little too fast. But there's so much to see, you know, in the rest of our lives. We're trying to really get through as much as possible. That way we don't have any regrets. Um, I don't know. What do you think of this trail? I liked it. Um, but if you've ever been to, like, the city of Shawnee or New Straitsville, you know they're built kind of on a hillside. So it was definitely ups and downs. Which was good. Very similar to Wildcat Hollow, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, it's good. It was good training for us. We didn't go very far, but like we said, we don't necessarily have to. 
Yeah, I mean, we did we did it over 12 yesterday, so this was a nice, I think we, mm-hmm. she'll get the total up. But we did 12 yesterday, which isn't huge for us, but at the same time, you know, taking a day to ease up before we go hard again tomorrow is nice. Just over three miles. I mean, just, just over. Just over three miles ain't bad. But at least it stretched our calves and hamstrings and stuff, so. Kept us loose and limber for tomorrow. Obviously, like I said earlier in the video, we got some appointments and other things to do today. May even go steal the grandbaby some later this evening. But uh, a nice trip. You want to go someplace that's short. If you wanted to even come out and just walk around the lake, or I saw some boys fishing. You I think can I, fish in the lake, yeah. I think I read that it's only like four to six feet deep. Yep. But it's stocked up pretty good with uh, bass, crappie, bluegill, cats, and carp. So most of the regular, you know, Ohio fish are in there. And boys seem to be having a good time down there with a bunch of night crawlers. So. so if one person likes to hike and one person likes to fish, somebody can fish, somebody can go hiking. Or you can do both. One. Family picnics or do both. Do both. But they got picnic tables. Yeah, they've got all kinds of stuff where you can just kind of picnic out here. But we're going to get uh, out of here. I feel the wind picking up. And if you saw the clouds in the video, they're definitely rolling in and out. So it's hard to tell what's going to come next. One last thing. We couldn't find a map on it. So I'm sure there's a map out there. So if you did the trail earlier in the year, whenever they opened it up and stuff, and you know where we can find a map or more information on the trail, please put it in the comments because yeah. we'd like to know. Let us know below. But until next time, I'm Tony. I'm Missy. And no matter what happens, day or night, anytime you need to get out, just go take a hike. It makes everything better.